ladies and gentlemen from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, we are ready for the official weigh-in as Premier Boxing Champions presents the weigh-in for the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of action for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World, brought to you by Debella Entertainment, TGB Promotions, and Showtime, as sponsored by Casa Noble Tequila, the noble pursuit and Corona Extra, who invites you to find your beach. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first to the stage, the challenger fighting out of Miami by way of Kamage in Cuba. He is undefeated in his campaign with a record of 28 wins, no losses, two no decisions, with 24 wins coming by way of knockout. Ranked the number three heavyweight contender in the world, please welcome the undefeated Luis King Kong Ortiz. Ortiz with a chance to become the first Latino or Hispanic heavyweight champion born outside of the U.S. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the defending world champion, a man who has knocked out every opponent he has faced in the professional ranks. From Tuscaloosa, Alabama, his tremendous record stands at 39 wins, no losses. 38 wins coming by way of knockout. An Olympic bronze medalist and the current WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Half of Wilder's 38 knockouts have happened in the opening round. We want to get right to the scale at this time. Introducing first the challenger to the scale. Formerly held the interim heavyweight title. Please welcome the number three contender, Luis King Kong Ortiz. Two hundred forty-one and a quarter pounds. Two forty-one and a quarter pounds for the challenger, Luis King Kong Ortiz. And now the champion is ready to step onto the scale. He'll be making the seventh defense of his title. Here is the hard-hitting and undefeated WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. 214 and three-quarter pounds. 214 and three-quarter pounds for the defending champion, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Once again, we're going to let our fighters get dressed. We'll have Steve Farhood ask him a few questions. We're going to have them face off as well. Highly anticipated main event of the evening. It is for the heavyweight championship of the world. Sanctioned by the World Boxing Council. You know, he's been a big puncher and uh, he's known for his boxing skills and his punch power. Defeated. Luis Ortiz making his first attempt at a world title. Deontay Wilder making the seventh defense of his title. Both of them undefeated, both of them hard hitting. It's going to be a tremendous main event of the evening tomorrow night right here at Barclays Center. Once again, brought to you by Bella Entertainment, TGB Promotions, and Showtime, presented by Premier Boxing Champions. Wilder, the first U.S.-born heavyweight title holder since Brooklyn's Shannon Briggs in 2007. He also became the first undefeated American to win a heavyweight title since the first ever Southpaw heavyweight champion Michael Moore in 1994. Wilder now one of 14 current U.S.-born champions. Luis Ortiz looking to become the 18th champion from Cuba. Cuba under late dictator Fidel Castro Banning pro boxing in 1961, and here is the stare down. Wilder with the height and reach advantage. Both of them inspired and motivated to put their lives ladies on the line in the ring because are, of their daughters. Both Luis born with health Ortiz. issues. The last time they'll face each other before they meet in the center of the ring tomorrow night. 12 rounds for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Happy to report both of their daughters are in good health now. So here it is, the last time 
before they get it on Saturday night, Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Heavyweight title on the line as Deontay Wilder puts his WBC belt up for grabs for the seventh time against the undefeated Luis Ortiz. And you know, 85 years ago today, King Kong premiered in New York City. Well, yep. Deontay came in a little bit lighter than what we're used to, 214 and change. Does that suggest to Luis any kind of change in strategy for Deontay Wilder? Luis, uh, Deontay entró 214 y pico libra, que si eso lo anticipaba y mejor si cambia alguna de las tragedias. Nosotros estamos preparados para lo que venga. Eh, el campo de entrenamiento fue a 100%. Y nada, esto se va a ver el sábado de la noche, mañana. He says absolutely not. The training camp was prepared for, you know, whatever Deontay Wilder was going to bring to the ring, whether it was a, a runner, a puncher, a, you know, a wrestler. What, whatever he wants to do, he's, we train for it, so no problem. Specifically, what is it about Deontay's game that Luis feels he can take advantage of tomorrow night? Específicamente, ¿qué es lo que tiene Deontay como boxeador que usted piensa que puedes aprovechar y, y, y cogerle el fallo? Encima del ring se ve todo. A veces uno entrena para, para, para un trabajo y sale otro, y entonces ahí hay, uno tiene que, que, que tomar la oportunidad. He says that it's specifically, obviously, um, you know, what everyone sees, but it, it's not necessarily the case come, you know, fight night. Um, you have to adapt. Uh, probably believes he will have to adapt and make some changes in uh, whatever they are and whatever presents itself. Come fight night, he's prepared to do, he's experienced to do it. He's been waiting his whole career to do this um, as a pro and definitely as an amateur, never dreamed to be here. He's not, he's not losing tomorrow. Good luck. Buena suerte. Deontay, 214 and change. A little bit lighter than what we're used to with you. You're always around 220, 222. What does that mean? Is there any significance to it? And was it intentional? That don't mean nothing. I'm going to let the world know that weight don't mean a thing. It's all mental at the end of the day. I said, like I said, I'd rather be the part than look the part. I've showed y'all many a times that no matter what the weight is, I put these guys on their ass, and that's what I come to do Saturday night. Over and over again, all my guys have outweighed me, so that's nothing. That's nothing to compare to where I came from. That's nothing to compare to where I'm going. So come Saturday night, y'all in for a treat, baby. I can't wait. Everybody seems to think this is your toughest test to date as a pro. Do you agree with that? We'll see when we get in the ring. You know, on paper, he looked good against the opposition that he faced, but he's never faced a Brian Svama. He's never faced a guy that got more killer instant than him. He's never faced a guy that just really want to rip his head off, and I do mean really want to put him down. So I am the best. I say I'm the best. I claim the best, and I'm ready, I'm ready to show it come Saturday night that I'm the best in the world. You did it once already. Give us one more bomb squad. Bomb squad! Let's go, baby. Good luck, Deontay.